The Island of Dr. Moreau, written by H.G. Wells in 1896, tells the story of Edward Prendick, an educated Englishman who survives a shipwreck in the southern Pacific Ocean. Rescued by a passing ship and revived by a man named Montgomery, Prendick encounters a strange native servant named Miling. Montgomery, who owns the animals being transported on the ship, informs Prendick that he cannot accommodate him on the island they are approaching. Left in a dinghy by the captain, Prendick is taken in by Montgomery out of pity. The island is the domain of Dr. Moreau, a former physiologist in London known for his controversial experiments in vivisection. Curiosity leads Prendick to witness Moreau working on a puma, causing the animal to cry out in agony. Disturbed, Prendick retreats into the jungle, where he encounters a group of human-like creatures with swine-like features. Fearing for his safety, Prendick flees, pursued by a monstrous hybrid creature. Returning to Moreau's compound, he questions Montgomery about the mysterious beings, but Montgomery remains tight-lipped. Frustrated, Prendick eventually gives up and falls asleep. Upon waking, Prendick reflects on the events of the previous night. Discovering that the door to Moreau's operating room is unlocked, he enters and finds a bandaged humanoid figure on the table, only to be swiftly ejected by an enraged Moreau. Filled with fear and suspicion, Prendick becomes convinced that he is destined to become Moreau's next experimental subject, believing that the doctor has been conducting vivisections on humans. In a desperate attempt to escape, Prendick flees into the jungle and encounters an ape-man who guides him to a colony of half-human, half-animal creatures. Led by a formidable figure known as the Sayer of the Law, the colony enforces a set of prohibitions against savage behavior and reveres Moreau. Suddenly, Moreau arrives at the colony in search of Prendick, who manages to escape deeper into the jungle. Desperate and cornered, Prendick plans to drown himself in the ocean rather than submit to Moreau's experiments. However, Moreau catches up with him and reveals that the beast folk were not originally humans, but animals transformed through his scientific endeavors. Returning to the compound, Moreau explains his 11-year-long pursuit of perfecting the transformation of animals into humans. He acknowledges that his subjects often regress to their animalistic behaviors, considering the pain he inflicts as insignificant collateral for the sake of his experiments. One day, a half-eaten rabbit is discovered, violating the island's strict prohibitions against flesh-eating and bloodlust. Moro identifies the leopard man, the same creature that chased Prendick earlier, as the culprit. Aware of the torment that awaits him at Moro's hands, the leopard man flees. In a final act of mercy, Prendick shoots the creature, sparing him from further suffering, despite the pursuit of the group. As time passes on the island, Prendick becomes aware that the Leopard Man was not solely responsible for the transgressions against the laws imposed by Moreau. The Hyena Swine, the next most dangerous creature on the island, also played a role in the deaths of the rabbits. Although Dr. Moreau is furious with Prendick for killing the Leopard Man, he is unable to take any action. Gradually, Prendick grows accustomed to the grotesque nature of the beast folk. However, one day, the partially transformed Puma woman breaks free from her restraints and escapes from the laboratory. Moro pursues her, leading to a fatal confrontation in which both Moro and the Puma woman are killed. Following Moro's demise, Montgomery, overwhelmed by grief, decides to share his alcohol with the beast folk. Meanwhile, Prendick makes the decision to leave the island. However, he soon discovers that Montgomery had destroyed the only boats, leaving him stranded. To make matters worse, a commotion outside leads to the deaths of Montgomery, Miling, Montgomery's servant, and the sayer of the law, as they clash with the beast folk. In the chaos, Prendick accidentally knocks over a lamp, causing the compound to catch fire and perish, along with any provisions. Left with no choice but to stay on the island, Prendick lives among the increasingly feral and regressing beast folk for several months after Moreau and Montgomery's deaths. As time goes by, the creatures abandon their civilized behavior, reverting to their animal instincts. They begin hunting rabbits, walking on all fours, and abandoning their communal living areas for the wild. The beast folk no longer heed Prendick's instructions, and eventually, the hyena swine kills his loyal companion, a dogman derived from a Saint Bernard. In self-defense, Prendick shoots the hyena swine with the assistance of the sloth creature. Fortunately for Prendick, a boat carrying two corpses drifts onto the beach. Seizing the opportunity, he uses the boat to escape the island and is rescued three days later. 
However, when Prendick attempts to share his harrowing experiences with others, he is met with disbelief and labeled as insane. In order to avoid further scrutiny, he decides to feign amnesia, concealing the truth of his time on the island. Upon returning to England, Prendick finds it difficult to feel at ease in the presence of other humans. He perceives a lurking animalistic nature within them, as if they are on the verge of reverting to their primal instincts. Disillusioned by this observation, he grows increasingly uncomfortable in society. Seeking solace and refuge, Prendick chooses to retreat from London and isolates himself in the tranquility of the countryside. There, he immerses himself in the study of chemistry and astronomy, finding solace and fascination in these scientific pursuits, which provide him with a sense of purpose and intellectual fulfillment. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.